Once we have made our hypothesis, we will test it by designing and carrying out an experiment. To do this, we first need to identify the variables of the experiment. There are usually three different kinds of variables. The independent variable is the one and only variable that is changed during the experiment. In our popping boba experiment, the acidity or pH of a liquid would be a good independent variable that we could change to investigate how acidity affects the shape of the popping boba. The dependent variable is the one that is measured during the experiment to determine the effects of the changes we are making. In our popping boba experiment, we want to know if the shape of the popping boba changes. Since good popping boba is considered to be spherical or ball-like in shape, we could measure the longest and shortest dimension or the diameter and height of the popping boba we make. It is okay to have more than one dependent variable. Controlled variables are all the other conditions in the experiment that we want to keep the same. In our popping boba experiment, the reaction temperature or quantities of each ingredient are some examples of controlled variables. By keeping all the controlled variables the same, we know that any changes in the height or diameter of the boba are due to the acidity of our juice instead of one of these factors. Determining the variables of our experiment helps us to come up with an experimental procedure or step-by-step -step instructions that will allow us to collect the data we need to test our hypothesis. A simplified experimental procedure for our popping boba experiment could look like this. Choose a liquid or food you want to test. Then follow a step-by-step -step recipe to make several popping boba balls. Measure the diameter and the height of each ball using graph paper. And finally, redo the experiment but change the acidity of the food mixture. An important aspect of a scientific experiment is to repeat the experiment for each testing condition several times to make sure that the results are reproducible and not random. Make sure to carefully record everything you do measure and observe in a lab notebook so that you have a clear record of your experiment. Taking videos, pictures, or making drawings is also a good idea.